What's happening, all you hip cool cats? My name is Kit, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way, all of you are made aware when we upload new content onto our YouTube channel. And today, <clears throat> let me start over again. Today, today, we got ourselves a fun YouTube video to react to. It is titled, and it's from John Tron Show, Howling to Your Sister is a Werewolf, John Tron. So, folks. If you're watching this, please be sure to, again, support the original content creators. And I saw The Howling 2 only once. It was back in the day on a weekend in North Carolina in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. It was a cheesy, campy movie. And I'm very curious to see what JonTron's take on it is. Um, it has a very laughable plot. Uh, a very uh, low budget it's a, it's a it's a B movie classic, so I hope all of you have yourself a nice tasty snack and a tasty beverage. And since I'm in charge of the ones and twos, I urge all of you to sit back, enjoy the show, and more importantly, be careful because maybe your sister is also possibly maybe kind of sorta a werewolf. Is your sister a werewolf? Type in the comment section below. Let's get this video started in a three, a two, a one. Hmm. The ritual is ready, sir. Squawk. Imagine, <laughs> if you will. A reality in which a population was so mediocre, they produced more bad films than good ones. Okay. Reality too ghastly to imagine? Well, open your eyes. Because you're in that world. That world is the real one you inhabit, and it's that's the one you're in. A chilly fall day. Just like this one. It reminds me. It reminds me of... Ah! So we meet again! For the last time. Ah, New York City. Ah, brave hero Jantron walks alone. Ah! <laughs> Probably shouldn't have left that on while I was gone. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Thank God. It's just a clown. So I did look at the comment section in the description or in the description box for this video, and it came out, I believe, what, 2015, 2016 or something like that. And there was this um, whole weird phase going on with uh people dressing up like clowns and walking in the streets late at night i know it's a, it was pretty weird in 2016 and there were a lot of these weird creepy videos some of them were obviously staged and others were actually horrifyingly real creepy encounters with people dressed up like clowns and some of those videos uh ended up with those people dressed up like clowns get, getting curb stomped or getting physically assaulted or run over by a car. Uh, so let's throw this question out to the audience. Uh, so think way back when there was all this big clown scare going on. I know clowns can be creepy. But uh, did, did any of you ever have any run-ins with creepy clowns when there was – popularity was at its highest when people were saying oh there's there's a weird evil looking clown late at night did you ever see anything like that in your neck of the woods wherever you are in this country be it in california new york state illinois my home state indiana hawaii alaska texas 
No, I, I do know for a fact that somebody is acting stupid in Texas. They, yeah, okay. I, I, I know Texas doesn't f around. So there you go. Um, Ohio, Michigan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, in your neck of the woods, did anything like that happen to you? T type it in the comment section below. Share your stories. And no, I will not tolerate one of you being very sneaky and creative saying, yeah, me and my friends, we had to face off against this evil clown in the sewers. Like, no, I don't want to hear that story. Not, not, no, I, 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 wa I want a real story, not, not a fake clown story. This <laughs> Halloween, we're going to do something real scary. We're going to watch Howling 2. Your sister is a werewolf. John! How could you say that about me? <laughs> Whatever! You go through puberty! It's normal! <laughs> this film is also known by its original name. Howling 2, Sturba, Werewolf Bit. <laughs> Which, if I'm being honest, it's got a pretty good ring to it. I don't know why they changed that. This film, almost as if divinely, appeared on our planet in the year 1985. Hey! By legendary actor, Christopher Lee. May he rest in peace. Uh, it was poised for world... Hey, by the way, Christopher Lee is a, is a solid G. May he truly rest in peace. N not to mention, that dude was in a lot of Hammer horror films with a lot of beautiful, beautiful ladies at the time. They were they're nice thick snacks, I, got, I could say that. Uh, but uh, check out his work that he did in Hammer films. Plus, check out, I mean, who he was even before he became a movie star. The dude is an effing legend. I will not spoil it for all of you, but let's just say this. He did not F around. Worldwide success and acclaim. Or was it? While Lee was portrayed in a number of memorable roles, such as Saruman the White, and the rhymes with Poo Poo, Count Dooku, from the worst Star Wars movie, there were also... No, 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 no longer the worst Star Wars movie. The new sequel trilogy, all of them. All of them. The new, the new sequel trilogies. Rather take Attack the Clones any day than... Ugh. The Last Jedi. Luke Skywalker drinking milk. Honestly, I miss the legends, you know, the expanded universe. I mean, Luke Skywalker had a wife. He managed to set up a family. Han Solo wasn't a terrible parent. He actually had, uh, I think, what was Leia, four kids, not just one kid who went all crazy. The world has no idea what they missed. And, I'm not, and I know some of the books weren't all that great, but compared to the trilogy, the new trilogy, really? Really, folks? Really? Really? Some roles he may have preferred stayed six feet under. Sealed away, deep in a mausoleum to be forgotten by man and lost to time. But alas, we have the internet! And, well, they, they pretty much got everything on there, so it's pretty hard to hide stuff. Yeah. I'm warning you, wear a helmet. This one's gonna be rough. Here we go. The inhabitants of the Earth have been made drunk with her blood. Hey there, Mr. Lee, can I call you Chris? Did you even know you're being filmed here? Is that how they got you to be in this movie? They just didn't tell you it was a movie? And she held forth. Mr. Lee, look out. There's a skeleton behind you. <laughs> and there it is, Howling 2, your sister. This is a werewolf. I have a feeling I'm going to be maybe howling in a few minutes over here. <laughs> the film starts off at the funeral of a woman who was recently killed. The guy at the altar goes on about how everything sucks for a few minutes, really getting everyone into the spirit of things. The death of anyone is a sad occasion. Even Hitler? <laughs> Nothing we can <laughs> say or do can bring Karen back. Amen. Shortly thereafter, the director points the camera and microphone in the wrong direction, as Christopher Lee and another man whisper to each other about dead sisters in the distance. Immortal soul. What? I didn't, I didn't catch that. Call me. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? So, Christopher Lee's character, named Stefan, is a paranormal investigator mm. who tells the brother of the woman who died that he needs to give him a call at his earliest convenience. Stefan Crossco, a cult investigator. Meanwhile, Stefan's the talk of the town, as the townsfolk can't help but become horny and bothered at the mere sight of him. Stefan. Let's go. Yeah, that's normal. Mr. Crosco. Miss Templeton. How do you know my name? I've seen you on television. What do you know about the death of Karen White? I know that she is a werewolf. <laughs> oh! Okay! In that case, do you think you could elaborate? <laughs> Mr. Crosco. Yeah, never mind. Let me 
further. Got you. She's a werewolf. Got it. It's all good. All right, cool. What did he say? He said your sister is a werewolf. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> the Howling 2 was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Really? That Tune in next time when Stefan decides to find out if there are alligators in the sewers of New York City. The Adventures of Stefan, filmed in front of a live studio audience. That's it? Uh, bullshit. No, no further comment? <laughs> hey! Where are we now? What a jump cut that was. <laughs> yeah! You gotta be kidding me. Yes! This boy over here still got in his old age. I got, I got... Hey, look. Hey, Christopher Lee. He was, he was a legend. Okay, folks? Honestly, check out some of his work with Hammer Films. The man is a living guy. Well, he's no longer living, but he is. He was a legend, folks. May he live forever. Okay, there you go. I gotta, get, I gotta give props where it's due. So then all of a sudden, focus switches to some characters that sound like a couple of Australians that got concussions. A couple of drinks for me and my friends here. No thanks. Can't you see that she's a lady? Don't want to drink with no riffraff. Gonna say that better myself. <laughs> Party time, Al! Gonna say that better myself. After this exchange, the local thuggery ride off into an apocalyptic wasteland and out to a warehouse to get jiggy with it. But little do they know, in reality, she's having a really bad cramp in her leg. <laughs> so you want to play, huh? We like to play too, don't we, Deacon? Yeah, rough play. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, looks like he doesn't even have the correct amount of brain cells to process the pain in time. Yeah, that actually just hurt for fucking real. I forgot whatever joke it is I had planned for that. Okay, so y'all know, there's a little trick that studios do. It's called sugar glass. Look it up. They, you know, when you see your favorite actors or actresses crash through a glass window or... A glass bottle gets cracked over their head. It's it 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 it, it it's sugar glass. It's 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 sugar glass. You know, and then they put in sound effects and use a little Adobe Premiere for their CGI stuff, and then it tricks the human brain into thinking said fictional character crashes through glass. So there you go. By the way, if there's anyone in our audience that's ever used sugar glass or other fake materials or props or editing, type your experiences working on film productions where you had to deal with situations like that and bonus bonus points not money bonus points if you had to stop a director uh from using actual real glass because let's face it there are morons out there in this world who probably think that's the real stuff and they have stunt devils uh going through that stuff if if there are any professionals film professional people now's your time to shine type type the information and your stories in the comment section below I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let's move on, everyone. You made Deacon mad, and he gets real nasty when he's mad. <laughs> this can't be real, right? This movie is not a comedy, and yet the timing is impeccable. <laughs> the great John Candy would have been in awe if he could see this today. I know you're there, my little beauty, and I've got something for you. Oh, yeah. That's threatening, all right. Hey, come on. Ah, it's just a couple of us guys. Just a couple of guys around here. There's nothing weird, nothing strange going on. I just want to talk to you. Come on. So, of course, this woman was actually a werewolf. Ugh. She was luring these people to her lair to get eaten. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Back at wherever the fuck they are, the two people from the funeral earlier decide to go to Stefan's house and hear him out after all. Meanwhile, in this scene, a sexual predator watches the situation <laughs> from a distance. There are a couple things I know about your sister. Oh, yeah. Know. Tell me more backstory, Why baby. Why don't you just go back to your sheriff's office in Montana and do your job and let me get on with mine? Well, this isn't even good exposition. I can't jack my big old dick off to this. us <laughs> country boys know. Whoa, dude! Why are you bringing this from a zero to a ten? Okay. Away. Then when the barmers start knocking off the chickens, we start knocking off the barmers. So they meet with... Okay. Uh, hey. Uh, to our country audience, whether you're in the dirty south, Tennessee, Kentucky, 
West Virginia, uh, Florida, you know, Georgia, Georgia, Louisiana. Yeah, hey, I'm going to even throw you in here, Texas, too, you know. For all those in the Dirty South, or, you know, the, the country boys and gals. That statement he said about when I don't even know what he said. Is is that an actual thing? Type in the comment section below. I gotta hear it. All right. So now is your time to shine. Wherever you're at, just yell out loud. Well, be sure be sure it's an appropriate surrounding area, not at a funeral, at a wedding maybe. But just yell out. Now is your time to shine. Stefan in his mansion full of weird shit. Please sit down. I trust you'd like to see my robust collection of deformed bonobo heads? We don't have much time, so I will get to the point immediately. This type of bullet killed your sister. Impossible! How could a simple bullet kill a perfectly healthy woman? Ah! I don't notice anything about them. They're silver. You know what that means? They're silver? This type of bullet, Mr. White, means your sister is a werewolf. Oh, God! I mean, d does it though? For, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure about that. It means I mean, that. Your sister was working on a story about one such group. And... You telling me my sister arranged her own murder? Yes. Oh, okay. This is a videotape of Karen White's last news broadcast. <gasps> oh God, that's the oh, that's the wrong tape. Heavens me, this is so embarrassing. Hold on, this is the right one. The tape that Stefan shows them depicts this man's sister being murdered live on broadcast as she turns into a werewolf. It's a fake. That's not my sister. Ben, I recognize those people. Proof! Stefan also explains that the werewolves have a leader named Sturba, and that it is his mission in life to destroy her once and for all. Sturba must be destroyed, and I will do it. And I think at this point, uh, Christopher Lee just kind of starts to improv his lines, or at least, you know, realize the magnitude of his regret on screen. Either way, it's beautiful. Evolution is reversed. How can you listen to this bull? I resent such words. <laughs> Take those bullets, and God be with you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think Stefan's going to the cemetery tonight to set traps? By the way, how much that glue from earlier was squirted <laughs> into my nose you think got in my brain? Forgot about the stake. Forgot about what now? Drive a stake through a werewolf's heart. What? Wait, drive what? a stake through a werewolf's what? heart? What? Unless we're talking about filet mignon. I think you might be mixing up vampires and werewolves. Yeah. It's... Son of a bitch was talking about my sister. About sticking a stake in my dead sister. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give it to you. This is pretty weird. Not really a normal thing to go around and be doing. I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. Well, that's a bit... Uh, maybe that's a bit far? Come on, man. Ben storms off, determined to kill Stefan before he can desecrate his sister. And Christopher Lee stands on a freeway overpass in Los Angeles for some fucking reason. Are you sure this is the way to the crypt? Yeah. What the... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the way to the crypt, all right. Oh. Ben! I'm behind you! Get in! What the hell are you doing? Well, nothing. I was talking to your sister's dead body. What, what the? The conclusion of this event, Ben and Jenny now see that the tale of the werewolves is all true. What? They shoot bullets at a nearby janitor with facial deformities for fun. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, he wasn't a werewolf. He just born with a big old cleft face. After feeling bad for the wretched soul, they kindly drape him in a net for warmth and force him to reveal the location of Sturba. Oh, this is so sad. I forgot that. Stabbing him in the heart with a blade. Again, for warmth. Guy was cold. Come on, what are you going to do? Leave him there? I must leave you now. Where are you going? I don't know. I was thinking of hitting up the nightclub again. I want to make sure that what happened to my sister never happens to anybody else again. When do we leave? Where do we have to go to find Sturba? Of course! Bell Skeleton! I should have known that. To the dark country. You don't mean South Jersey. To Transylvania. Transylvania. What? Okay, once again. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not the werewolf one. Okay? Just pointing it out. So yes, off they go to Transylvania to fight the werewolves. Boy, it hurts. 
I have to wonder if these weird Dracula references have something to do with the fact that Christopher Lee used to play Dracula back in the 50s. I bet they were very proud they snuck this in, just got it right past the masses. And then they have a ceremony for Grandma. Damn, Granny! Save some of that Ecto Cooler for the rest of us! We're running out again! The new Ghostbusters movie didn't do that well. Uh, by the way, again, that Ghostbuster film, terrible. Nothing but commercial products will never hold a candle to the original. Oh, damn, Nana. You're looking much younger. Oh. Kind of juice cleanse was that again? That's what you call a nice dick snack right there. This woman was hit by a car. We must get her to a doctor quickly. You, you, you good with that take? You don't want to you don't want to maybe try that line read one more time? Maybe? Was this even planned? Is this just some shit they filmed on the side of the road in Eastern Europe? That's not an actor, is it? <laughs> this really happened. That's just an old lady who really got hit by a car. Hello. Okay, you just gonna go? You're all done here? Gonna walk away? Lady's still down. Still got one down over here. Oh, God, that's not medicine. Where the hell everybody go? They're here. And they're not here. Yeah, I'm not really sure I'm following you on this one. That might be murder. Stab that lady who got hit by the car in the heart. I'm thinking maybe you don't have the best judgment. Stefan, please. Stefan, where are you going? Why are you leaving? Stefan, where are you going? Get on back here. Come on, get over here. I'm going to the village. I will see you there later. Shortly after going to a local poon house to get my taint licked. So now we arrive at the next setting of the film, what is supposedly a small Eastern European town in Transylvania. A lovely room for the lady. Uh, so if there's any of our viewing members who've ever been to Transylvania, type your stories of your spooky, scary time in Transylvania. What's it like in Transylvania? Do we have any audience members from Transylvania? And I better not see any YouTube content or commentators saying uh, like oh hey I'm, I'm dracula and i'm typing your the story in the comment section below hey i'm dracula the, everything's fine in transylvania better not hear any of that and gentlemen room 666 this hotel doesn't look like it has six floors i know <laughs> funny isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Shortly thereafter, Jenny brings out some vampire garlic to piss me off even further. That and she won't stop talking like a baby. Seriously, everyone in this movie talks like an actual baby asking where their mom is. Where is Stefan? I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're doing here. I think the director felt similarly. I need you to hold me, Ben. Fucking Christ, that escalated fast. Oh, Ben. Thank you. I'm so scared. <laughs> I know, I know how you feel. Oh, God, please stop. Oh, just make it stop. What is this, Godfather 3? You trying to dethrone the king? Ah. You know the awkward makeout scene? Ah. By the way, Godfather 3. That film will always have me questioning why, and I know that he did it for money. And, uh, you know, those two kissing are supposedly cousins in... in, in in that movie, you know, so. Bleh. 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 All right. Bleh. Yeah, sorry. Vomiting. Vomiting. Emotional. Emotional vom vomit today. Uh, yeah. Godfather 3. Just if you're watching the Godfather series, Godfather 1, perfect. Godfather 2, and then you hit the stop. Don't watch Godfather 3. Okay, we're not watching Godfather three. No, never, never. Period. We, we, if you guys want us to react to Godfather three, type type that stuff in the comment section below. Oh no, is that a midget beckoning? Well, you know shit's about to go down if a midget beckons. <laughs> These men have sworn to fight Stilma. 
Silla lost his elder brother. Oh, whoa. Life. And Jesus, last year he was crucified by werewolves. <laughs> For the time being, I just want you to behave as ordinary tourists. Well, how do we keep in touch with each other? Constantine and Luca will set up a puppet booth in the square and you can communicate with me through them or through Father Florin. Instead of like all that though, could I just call your cell phone? So that night, Jenny decides to take a bath and unwind from all this chaos. Oh no, a creeping dolly shot. That can only mean one thing. Oh my god! It's a werewolf for a dolly! <laughs> then this comes back. My god, it's, it's just not right. How do you think they felt on set, huh? Look at this guy, look at him. You think he was really into that? Secretly pretending he wasn't? He looks pretty into that. <laughs> Tondo, keep an eye on Jenny. Yeah? I'm gonna go get her a gift, okay? Okay. At this point in the film, things are just getting more and more 80s as time goes on. I'm in fact not entirely sure they didn't just accidentally yeah. get some B-roll from a Madonna concert. Hey! 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 After Jenny is captured against her own will and Ben descends on Sturbus Castle, things begin to escalate. Glad you're here. Put them in your ears, sir. Bless. What do you want to do about the sentry? <laughs> Yes. Penis knife. Why didn't I think of that? Ladies, uh, gentlemen, as always, whenever you're in a fight, always have a little knife at your disposal. You'll never know when you'll need it. <laughs> yes! I know that's right. This the sun is fine. <laughs> uh, that one I can't. Can't get much behind that one. <laughs> what in the goddamn hell is happening in this stupid no, movie? No. No. Good fucking lord. <laughs> then now Stefan is like following a weird little girl down an alleyway because she has Where some locket. Yeah, that's probably the best course of action. Like has no one figured out that this set of circumstances usually leads to a murder? Stefan! Still gonna follow her down the alley. Little laughing girl. All right, let's do it. Now don't be afraid. I just want to ask you a question. <laughs> Shouldn't I have been Gandalf? No! <laughs> Thank you for your input. That's all I needed. You all right? No. No, actually, I don't think I'm ever gonna unsee that. No. Leave for the castle tonight. These are our weapons. The consecrated oil. Wax from the sacred candles. A dagger forged from titanium. All right. Which held the sacred blood of Christ. Oh, you got that? And this yeah. is just a fucking gun. I'll take that. Yeah, that's probably the best choice. Okay, there also, you go. Also, uh, can we talk about how just, you know, nobody bothered to ask how he got the Holy Grail? He just got that? Just has that? Yeah. Also, that means Jesus has proved real. We're just going to whiz on by this? Yes. Unnecessary violence. There's there's a lot more to the scene because I remember a, a scene from Halloween too when when the fight scene was taking place and when the werewolves were dying, Serba was sad and she was crying that her werewolf children were, were dead. So take that, Serba. So as we reach the climax, Stefan finally confronts Sturba. Demons and powers of adversity bound and held subject to his will. We meet again. For the last, oh, last time. Powers of the Avatar, come, my beloved Stefan. Let us take our fill of love. In the name of God. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I don't know what the use of showing that guy's face was. Okay, now a dragon's coming out of it. What? Hopefully the Christmas episode isn't this weird. So the curse is reversed. Sturba is killed, and Ben and Jenny get out unscathed to live happily ever after. 
All right. Trick or treat! Goblin, shoot it! I love a costume, kid. Strange-looking child. Jenny, for the last time, I told you, it's yeah. Halloween. They dress up. It's just a thing. You know what? Forget it. Never you, mind. You're a sweet kid. Just don't worry about it. Good evening. Were your neighbors uh, your child just knocked on our door? My child. But I have no child. Don't you come in? A little later. I hope so. I hope so. I think compared what? to What? I would have preferred my neighbor was a werewolf. I forgot oh, I that ending. Sister's still trapped in the crypt, screaming, screaming forever as a werewolf because no one later to rest. Just thought I'd point that out. Okay, now here's the credit sequence, and I don't know if I can accurately impart how ridiculous this is. So over the credits, they use the song from the beginning, and I've not edited this at all. This is how it is. To the beat of the music, they loop this woman, Sybil Danning, ripping her shirt off in the scene from earlier 17 times. To the beat of the music. Hallelujah! There is a God after all. <laughs> what can you really say, huh? Sometimes you just want to share your art with the world. Just want to share some lady's tits you hired 17 times in a row with the world. That's the scariest shit I've seen all year. Happy Halloween, everyone, and thank you for watching. Is this ours? Can I break this? Hello? Yeah, you, you suck! <laughs> hoo, hoo What a spooky Halloween! This episode of JonTron was made possible by the people at Audible.com. If you don't know about Audible.com, they are the premier provider of your audiobooks and audio products. You can listen to your audiobooks on your computer or take them to go on your phone or tablet. And if you use my specialized link, Audible.com slash JonTron, you get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial. And you get to keep the audiobook even if you cancel. This Halloween, me and Bubsy over here recommend you The Shining, uh, written by Stephen King, narrated by Campbell Scott. It's going to be a good one. You should go and get that. Goodbye, everyone. No. Oh, God, no! <laughs>